what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it has been a while but we have been saving for some decent parts for the car so today we are doing some uh, Brembo conversion and uh, floating discs pads uh, braided lines all going on to my bath me and Nick uh, we are working after what time is it now it's like seven o'clock um, in the evening. <laughs> so we have finally got the car up. It has been an absolute nightmare to get up because the car is so low. Um, so we've got pallet wood and everything underneath trying to actually get this car. So um, you would have saw earlier on, um, well you'll see earlier, uh, later on in the video, I did an unboxing yesterday of the Brembos. So that will show you all the stuff that I've got for the Brembos, unboxing it and everything. So that will come in just a second. Uh, and while you do that, we're going to have a break because it's took us probably about 30 minutes, 40 minutes to actually get the car up uh, because of how low it is. So we're going to have a break for five minutes and um, when you come back, we're going to crack on and start working on converting these brakes. Okay, so let's get this box open. See what is inside. So, inside the we have some fluid, so dot 5.1 premium brake fluid, 500 millimeter, 500 millilitres. So hopefully, that should be enough. Uh, don't know which one to go for first. So we've got different size pads. So I'm guessing those are the fronts and those are for the rear. Yeah, so those are for the rear. And those are the big boys for the front. Okay, so it does say Punto Evo Bath. I wonder whether they've sent us the wrong ones. Mm. Let's just check that one there. A bar 500. Maybe they're the same. They must be the same. It is for a bath, so more than likely it's for the same caliper. That would make sense. So in here should have so these are for the rear so these will look pretty similar to what we've already got on the car but they are drilled so those are some Brembo drilled rotors oh that's quite cool so it's got like a that's quite cool it goes with the um, goes with the wheels a little bit that so we've got like a nice sort of powder coat on there sort of keeping it from rusting so that's pretty good uh, so those are the little ones that are basically just going to be the exactly the same diameter. We're just changing the rotors out or disc brake discs. And that is that number one. Then in here should have our big boys. So hopefully, I sent us the right ones for these. Manual and these are fully wrapped up, All right? Oh, yes. So, inside here, look at them. So, those are the floating discs for the front, and they are super heavy. Look, those are lovely. Look at them, fantastic. So much bigger than the standard size that are on it at the moment. So these are a 305 diameter disc and I believe there'll be another set. So that is one of them. And obviously when we come to put them on, we'll have to give them a good old clean. So they'll probably ship them with some stuff on top of them to keep them from rusting. Let's get some brake cleaner. So we've got here this going to be another one hopefully two of the same and inside there don't need to take that one out 
as you can see in there that is just another floating disc for the front and then I believe that is everything in that box so I think it comes to 500 pounds yeah that's everything so literally 500 pounds and we've got some disc pads and we've also got it's all falling apart in front of me it's about 500 pound it cost me to get the whole set so we've got rear pads we've got front pads we've got the dot one fluid we've also got the smaller discs as well so that's a pretty good deal that is everything together to make this work yeah on top of all that we've also got our braided lines these are from help so we've got braided lines little fitting kit so those will go nicely with that and then also on top of that we've managed I've opened this one just slightly just to check to make sure it weren't damaged these are some Brembo's and these are actually off a Megan, a Renault Megan. So um, they seem to fit and everything. I've checked the actual lines, they actually fit to them. Um, and these are actually refurbished. They look really, really good for refurbished ones. And they're all set, all new seals. You can see inside there, all new seals, all in there. And it's absolutely beautiful, really. The only thing you would know that it's not on a bath part is that it's actually got Renault stickered there. But other than that, you wouldn't know. And then, also with these, you can see on this one, this is the other colour, but this is how it came. I will link the seller in the description because he's done an absolute stand-up job with these, selling them as a kit. I'm not going to lie, undercutting the bigger competition. Looks like he's even put a Brembo pamphlet in there. Maybe these, maybe this one in particular is brand new. Taking these out. Oh. Yeah, those look new. Brand spanking new, them are in my opinion so we've got two of those on top of that and then it also supplies those are the pins to stop the brake pads from coming out we have our bolts to actually fit the calipers to the car and then I guess one of the most important things that you're also going to need is the actual brackets to mount them so these are also brand new as well fantastic really that we get all this stuff and I've managed to source all this all these parts for about a thousand pounds all in obviously it's took me a few weeks to save up and get the stuff together but all in all it's about one thousand pounds worth of stuff here um, these links on certain websites I won't name the brand, but you can look around, you'll see it yourself. These these Brembo's, they're exactly the same, they've just got a, a Renault badge on, but these are getting sold for a thousand pounds, just these on their own. So I don't think I've done pretty bad, really, considering I've got floating discs as well, which are gonna be fantastic for when we, uh, when we get to go on track. So I'm pretty happy with that. Be mean to her. <laughs> this is definitely not the. Uh... Go on. Yeah, this this is the professional way. This is the professional way to F do it. F1 teams do stuff <laughs> like this. So get these spacers off. I think they'd laugh if they just saw space in a car. To be fair, <laughs> F1 teams. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, yours there. This is why it's important to get a hub spacer, hub centric spacers. People say that they fall off. 
I think so. Fucking dope. I don't think so. You're gonna have to beat that. Go on. Uh, Almost there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Where's your copper grease? Yeah, it's copper grease. Where's your copper grease? <laughs> it's there somewhere. <laughs> right, guys. So we have literally. <laughs> we have literally uh, been taking our time trying to take the freaking uh, spacers off the car. So the spacers are off the car now, um, which you need to do if you're going to change the discs. So we are now going to bleed the system because we are not using the standard fluid. We're going to be going to 5.1. So I want to bleed the system, get, the, get it all out into a, the bottle. So I've made a little makeshift little bleeder system. Uh, we're going to start from the uh, driver's side rear, which is furthest away from the reservoir. So I'm going to drop the car down a little bit so Nick can jump in. What, what, why are you jumping in and not me, Nick? What was you saying to me? God. I said, don't take it the wrong way. Is I'm it, small it, and oh, skinny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want to... I see dents here. That's from past, that's from past <laughs> experience if you're trying to squeeze through the... I'm just... Yeah, yeah, just keep digging. Keep digging. I said, don't take it the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick's gonna get in the car. He's gonna um, pump the brakes and gonna literally be opening this valve as much as possible and bleeding as much as we can out. Okay. Don't say that. You're just trying to curse us tonight. Snapping bolts and scaring me. Have you seen the Oh, that's a horrible noise. <laughs> that enough? Yeah, yeah. I'm not that small. Oh, I don't want to damage your. Go on, you'll be right. Ah. Oh, that, that felt horrible. <laughs> yeah, don't bounce around. Oh, that feels so horrible. Look how small you look in the seats. <laughs> Don't feel small in the seats. <laughs> Jay, look who's getting here. You happy with them? Uh, huh? It suits you though. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. I'm going to do a Jake. <laughs> <laughs> How do you put this thing back on? Sweet. Happy days. Ready for you. So, guys, we've literally bled the brain. So this is the fluid that come out of it. Disgusting. Probably not been changed since we've had the car. So we're now going to be removing the calipers on the front. And then we'll be changing off the discs as well. For new pads and discs as well. On the back. So we've got to remove a lot of stuff. And Nick is struggling. There we go. Awesome. Right. Let's get these off. Okay, off we go. That's that. Yeah. Easy peasy. Please I'll tell you what, there's loads of um, stuff left on that. It's a shame, really, we're getting rid of it. Um, yeah. How long are these bolts? Say again. Are they supposed to be long, these bolts? Or? No, no, they're small. Oh, the fuck. I thought I snapped it. We'll bleep that out, shall we? I was we, gonna Nick? say, please do. We'll bleep that, that out, Nick. Sound too good, Sorry, Nick. We'll bleep that out, mate. It's fine. No, it's fine. Nick didn't dis dis just swear at all, did you? No, 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 no. Don't like swear words. <laughs> Alright, so we've got to get this other. There you go. Nice and easy. So if you're changing your pads with the standard ones, you wouldn't actually need to remove both bolts. You can just literally do it with one of the bolts. You take one of the bolts out, and it should just slide it back slightly so it would literally you could lift it up or you can do it the other, other way probably with the above so i would lean it up like that so you can actually get to your pads and then we're going to need to disconnect our sensor so the sensor's at the back so there's a sensor there that is for the actual disc uh, the pad sorry so that's got to come I'm winning. Out, out of there. I'm winning. Are you winning? I forgot you were winning. I know. You told me to myself. <laughs> so we've got to get that out. That's going to be a bit of a, a 
Okay. Oh, um, can you hang it? Yeah, I've got an, an elastic actually at the back. Should be an elastic somewhere. You got loads of pen left. I know, yeah. Well, they only got changed last year. Oh, do you not break? Nah. You just roll. No, I don't. Don't do either of that. Just go, I just go so fast. <laughs> right. I'm gonna come back to that in a second. So, guys, there's two bolts at the back. So to remove those, I think there are 19. There are 19, aren't they? Yeah, 19. So we're 17. No, 19. Mm -hmm. There are 19 millimeter. And then once you've done that, you've literally got a set of discs. And this is now we're going to clean all this up, and that's where our brackets are going to go. And this is our old. This was where they were bolted, so that was sat like that. So yeah, I'm going to help Nick on the other side. And then uh, we'll start cleaning everything up. Okay, so these were the old discs and these are 284s or 285s, 285s. Um, so 285s, now we're going up to 305s. Um, so those are to work with the Brembos. So these are the new Brembos that are gonna be going on. And then we've also got the lines from Hell. Um, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna get those fitted into there, just like so. We'll get that threaded in properly, um, and then they should sit over. Should, 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 should fit over like that. So it should be a nice fitment once they actually go in the car. So yeah, we're going to carry on and uh, hope to get them located on. Okay, guys. So literally, we're just coming to the end now. <sighs> Talking this down, just just under 90 foot pounds. So we've got the bracket now attached. So as you can see here, there's the, the new bracket supplied is just here. And that bolts into where the original bracket was. So we're using the original bolts. And then the Brembo then is attached using those. So we'll have to take that back off. We we're just using that to make sure we've got it the right way around. Um, so yeah, we just need to take these back off so we can get the the uh, disc on, and then we should be cooking on gas then, really. Mm. So uh, let's crack on. And uh, we've got our line now as well, attached as well. So I just need to get this plumbed in. So I want to get it tight up there as well. Okay, guys, so to remove the caliper and, and the line, you've got to remove this C clamp, so the C clip, so that will sit on top of here. And this is your hard line coming from the reservoir. So you want to crack the bolt, uh, the nut, sorry. So we used an adjustable spanner on the top. Um, that is a 12 mil. Um, and then we used, I believe it was a 17. That's a 17. So a 17 and a 12 mil. And we span that off, that come off. And then we also just make it easier on ourselves as well. We also span that off as well, which is, I think, a 13 or a 12, might even be. Yeah, a 12, it's a, a 14, but we managed to do it with that, so. That um, was connected to the caliper? That was connected to the caliper, yeah, so it would have been like, like that, yep. down to there. So, caliper's now off, it's on the floor. So with the line, and now we can now, hopefully, we should be able to, cleanly plumb in our new line and the Brembo to that and that looks clean so we should be okay so we're going to plumb our new line into that right it's now nine nine o'clock time is it now nine yeah nine o'clock no ten to ten it's not nine o'clock it's ten to ten <laughs> So we have finally a caliper on. We also have our floating discs on. Uh, and we also got our line almost completely done. So we just need to tighten this up at the back. This is our, our line. Uh, let's see if I can put the torch on. You can see now. There you go. So the, we've got the line coming down into the back. Also got the brackets made up. That's nice and snug. Um, and yeah, really, we're nearly there, really, aren't we? So... Just got to get it tightened up. Oh, Nick's had to leave. 
it is now half past 10 we've finally got one finished so hopefully all we've got to do tonight and we'll have to pick it up tomorrow is we want to finish off the caliper for the other side so i've put the wheel on just to see what it looked like <laughs> they look absolutely awesome so we're going back to our track wheels as you can see we're actually putting some we've got some track tires on them as well they are legal for the road but they're supposed to be for the track um but yeah you can't tell that they've got floating discs until you get up close but you'll definitely tell once you start stopping with them i guess so i'm going to crack on and get on with the other side now that he's gone uh and then we'll pick you up tomorrow morning morning guys we are here again it's now like well it's probably about midday now i've just got back to the car um was here till about one last night doing the brakes getting it sorted just about to see we have got the calipers on now on both so we have got the four pots on and the 305 millimeter discs and you can see the lines as well now plumbed in Hayley's here she's just getting the tools out the car um, we've put the wheels away now these are the Tyo Sport the Tyo Sport the Tyo uh, R888Rs that we got the other week so I've picked those up I'm going to pop those on the car see how those are uh, road legal track, car, uh, track wheels so they are semi slicks so for the back now we've got some discs for the rear these are actually still in really good nick so hopefully it shouldn't give us too much issue um, so I've got to crack these off, um, literally I've got to remove the, let's put the light on, you've got to remove the bolts at the back of here where you would have removed, there's a camera plate there just at the back, so you've got to remove the, the two bolts, well the four bolts behind there uh, and then also we've got to take this all thing off, you've got to take those off there to actually get to the, you can just about see this bolt here and there's another bolt at the bottom and that's to hold this particular part on here so i've got an elastic band well like an elastic there to hold it all up once we actually get it loose but that's a little bit of an issue to get it up it's a bit of a pain but we'll 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 crack on and get that done um i haven't replaced i'm not going to replace the lines on the back because um well I, you get more braking force from the front anyway i'd like to do that at another time but we'll do that so uh anyway we're going to crack on, get the discs changed over and get the pads on and then we should be able to drive it and see how we feel. Okay guys, so with the rears, you have to obviously remove those four bolts that I was just saying. So these are the four bolts that we've took off and then once you've took the four bolts off, um, you are going to get a bit of a wobble. It takes a bit of... Um, like finicking with to actually get it loose and to actually get it off. Once you get it off, you should be able to actually take the whole thing off now. Uh, remember, with this, if you want to get it completely off, you're going to have to make sure that the handbrake is completely off, otherwise it won't happen. So uh, remove the handbrake, take the handbrake off, um, and then you should be able to have a lot more play. I've also, if you can see there, there is the cables. What I've done is I've removed the bung off here, just to give me some play, I've moved it out of this part here, and then this one also has got a, a little clip just there as well, just there. So I've took all three of those off, and that allows you to have a bit of play in that line. Um, and then from there, if you actually have a look as well, you should be able to see there. That is how I get my camber. So these are DNA camber plates. It does look absolutely atrocious in there now, but um, the DNA camber plates are in there, so that's like a shim. That will kick the the wheels out to the side um so anyway we've also the reason why we do that is to basically remove these allen key bolts so these are located on the other side of the caliper so where are we so just about here so these two here there's one just here and there's also one at the bottom if we can get that one on camera just there so we've got two Two of those, those remove that and that allows us to actually remove the entire bracket from the rear system and that allows us then to get access to our disc brake. 
So we need to move that. Now the only two other bolts we've got to remove are these ones here. These two are for the sliding pin. Once you remove those two, that will allow us to drop this part back as well. And then it all should come loose. Uh, it's not too much of a bad job. Uh, it's just about sort of knowing exactly what steps you need to follow to actually get it right. Um, because it can be difficult. When I did the DNA plates, I was near enough crying because it was so difficult to do. Um, for the first time i've had this off a few times now so it's a bit easier so anyway what i'm going to do now is i'm going to remove these two bolts and we'll carry on and then get the discs on so guys now we've got the caliper actually off we're just hanging this now with some elastic just to keep it from dangling um and all we want to do is just keep it from dangling out of the way so just to protect this line just here while we're working on the rest of the stuff so we're going to literally we're going to now try and work on this bracket here taking out the two allen key bolts here and then this bracket will come off so we can remove this which is already loose so we'll take that off then and then we can replace it with all our new parts. Right, so we're now at this point, after you take those two bolts out, which are these two that are actually through these two holes here, uh, Haley's now got it in her hands. So we've literally, all we've got to do now is actually reassemble this. So we're going to put the new disc onto here and then followed by the caliper bracket and then basically re put everything that we just took off back together and then we should be basically done other than some fluids okay so we've now got the discs on all we had to do was line them up get the the locator bolts back and then also put the bolts on just to get it nice and centered um, before we bolt all the hub back together we need to get the caliber bracket back on so that's the next thing to go on now so we're going to reassemble this re-put the bolts back in um, and then once we do that we're going to wind that piston back just slightly just so we can get the new pads on nice and easily and then uh, tighten it all up so pads are in we've put a bit of copper grease on the actual contacts to try and stop any squealing and put some copper grease on the back where the pistons gonna be and then hopefully now we've just got to thread our little ABS wire through the back and then we are pretty much cooking on gas So guys, it is Monday morning. We have finally finished messing around with the bath. We have got the brakes, the tyres, everything's actually gone on. And super, super happy with the result. So those are the wheels and the caliper. Floating discs and everything. We didn't have enough fluid to completely get it how I wanted it. So I've ordered some more fluid. And this week coming, we are doing another big project on my bath, so that will be coming very, very soon. I'm out of breath because I've just been moving the big box full of all my old brake parts and everything, so I'm a little bit out of breath. Um, but super, super happy. Um, the brakes actually do feel different, even though uh, they haven't been bled completely properly. Um, I wanted to do another round of uh, bleeding the rears to the front but running out of fluid, obviously I couldn't do that. So that will be happening next week, um, along with some more parts coming on the car very, very, very soon. So stay tuned to the channel and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now.